Hey, this is the multiplying integers using the standard algorithm. So this is the multiplication we are most familiar with. We have multiplied using the chip model and the number line model. And now we are going to connect those models that we have learned to the standard algorithm. So multiplication. When we multiply with the, sa with the standard algorithm, we are going to multiply the number in the ones place by all the, num the numbers on the top. So we would rewrite this one, for example, like this, and then we would multiply the number in the ones place by all the ones in the top. So three times five is 15, four times three is 12, Add that one we carried over and that's 135 then we are going to add a zero placeholder so we're going to move on to that two and add a zero placeholder you're going to multiply the numbers in the tens place by the top numbers so two times five is ten carry that one four times two is eight add that one we carried and then we are going to add both numbers. So we get 1,035. If our number was bigger, we would keep moving to the left for each place value, and we would add a zero for each. So say, for example, it was um, 400. 50 times 230, when we get to 100 place, we would need two placeholders and keep going from there. All right, when we involve integers, we have different signs. So how do we choose the sign of our answer? So if we're multiplying two positive numbers, which you're used to, our answer is going to be positive. We use this symbol over here. If we are going to multiply a negative and a positive, we would cover up that negative, cover up the positive. That means my answer is going to be negative. So if we have a positive and a negative, my answer is going to be negative. And then if we're multiplying a negative and a negative, my answer is going to be positive. All right, so we have here a negative and a positive. So my answer is going to be negative. So I will just do 12 times 14. And then I know my answer is going to be negative. So before I even do the multiplication problem, I kind of decide what my answer is going to be. Is it going to be negative? Is it going to be positive? All right, number one, we have negative 23 times five. So if I have a negative and a positive, my answer is going to be negative. So I will do 23 times five. So my answer will be negative 115. Number two, I have a negative and a negative, so my answer is going to be positive. So 56 times 4. And my answer is positive, so it's going to say 224. All right, I have a positive and a negative, so my answer will be negative. I'm going to do 23 times 67, 
So we do that seven times three, which is 21, carry the two, seven times two is 14, plus that two is 16. Then we're gonna put that zero placeholder. Six times three is 18, carry the one, six times two is 12, plus that one is 13. Then we add these. We get negative 1,541. All right, we have a negative and a positive. So our answer is going to be negative 87 times four. Seven times four is 28, carry the one. Eight times four is 32, plus that two is 34, and my answer is negative. All right, number five, I have two negatives, so my answer is going to be positive. Five times two is 10. Carry that one, nine times two is 18, plus that one is 19. Put our placeholder in, one times five is five, and one times nine is nine. Add these together, get 1,140, and our answer is positive. All right, number six, 45 times negative seven. My answer is going to be negative. Seven times five is 35, carry that three. Seven times four is 28, plus that three is 31. And my answer is negative, so negative 315. Number seven, it costs $5 an hour to park in the university garage. How much, does, how much does it cost after 12 hours? So we have $5 times 12. This is two positive, so my answer is positive. So 12 times five is 60, so it's going to cost $60. Abby knits three blankets every month. How many blankets can she knit in 26 months? So this is three times 26, both positives. Six times three is 18. Carry that one. Three times two is six. 78. So my answer is 78 blankets. All right, guys, thank you for watching.